we will now discuss loading new plastic material. All we need to load our new plastic material is a new spool of plastic material, a scale accurate to one gram for meter loading, tweezers, and a pair of flush cutters. Before loading new plastic, we want to ensure that we successfully do the following. We want to make sure there are no plastic currently loaded in our printer. We want to discard any old plastic spools if necessary. And we want to discard all desiccant packs that did not come with the new spool of plastic that we are currently loading. After we verify that the bag containing our new plastic spool has no holes or damage, we want to remove the spool from its packaging. We will then place the provided desiccant packs into the corner of the dry box and remove the spindle from inside. You can simply pull the magnetic spindle cap and spindle body apart. We will now place the spool on the spindle and attach the magnetic retention cap onto the spindle. We can now place the material and the spindle back into the dry box so that the metal shafts rest on the metal V grooves and the plastic filament actually spools from the top of the spool. It's important to note that the plastic spool is wound under tension. Always hold the plastic against the spool to prevent unwinding during this loading routine. We will now cut the plastic filament at a 45 degree angle so that it can easily unspool and feed into the tubes. We will then insert the end of the plastic into the adapter on the side of the dry box and feed the plastic filament all the way through the tube such that it extends out the other end. We can now close the dry box cover and press the latches until they close. We want to be sure we hear two clicks. It is important that we ensure that the dry box remains closed and fully latched at all times, except when quickly loading or replacing this filament. Once we have successfully prepared our new spool of material, we can continue with our meter load routine. Material metering is a process carried out by your printer to track how much material is used during printing and to therefore determine how much material you have left on a spool. In order for material metering to take place, the printer must be told how much material is on the spool when the filament is loaded into the printer. This will allow your printer to warn you when the print job may require more plastic than is loaded or if you've run out of plastic during your print. To begin the meter load routine, we will navigate to the load plastic utility. We will want to select menu, materials, load plastic. At this point, we are given three options. We can quick load, meter load, or same spool. When loading a new spool, we're going to select meter load on the printer's touchscreen. We will discuss quick load and same spool options a little later. Next, we will select the type of plastic we are loading into the printer. After selecting the plastic type, we will then select the type of spool that we are loading. For now, we are loading a new standard 800cc spool. Therefore, we will select full spool. We will now wait for the print head to heat up and then press next once prompted. Now we will feed the material from the plastic feed tube into the plastic extruder and insert the feed tube into the extruder's push to connect fitting. We will then wait for the plastic filament to move through the plastic bowden tube and once the material begins extruding from the nozzle we can press stop. Note: The plastic extruder will start to click as the material is extruded from the nozzle. This is normal and expected behavior for the material loading process. Once we see the material coming out of the nozzles, we will want to use our tweezers to grab and remove any of the extruded material that gathers around the nozzle. We can now press done to exit the utility or press retry to continue extruding material if the material has not yet reached the nozzle. If we are loading a partially used spool of plastic, we would follow the same steps with the additional step of weighing our partially used spool. To load a partial spool of material, we will navigate to the Load Plastic Utility. We will select Menu, Materials, Load Plastic. Again, we will select Meter Load. We will then select the type of plastic we are loading. 
After selecting our material type, we will then select partial spool and enter the weight of our partial spool in grams. After entering the weight, we will then select next to continue. At this point, the nozzle will heat and you will follow the on-screen instructions to continue loading the material just like we did with a new spool. If you are reloading the same spool of material that you just unloaded for any reason, the loading procedure will remain very similar except for selecting the same spool option when beginning the plastic loading utility rather than selecting metered load. This will allow the machine to remember and load the previously remaining material on that spool to help save a little bit of time. You might be thinking, what about the quick load option? Wouldn't that save some time as well? We strongly recommend using meter load whenever possible to ensure more accurate material measurement. If you use this routine to load plastic, your printer will not be able to display how much material is left, nor will it be able to alert you if your printer is running low on material. Therefore, you should always, always, always meter load your material.